Yo, Elliot, any tips on dealing with childhood trauma? Long story short, I had a moment in my life when I was in second grade and I got the ass beating of my life from my father. <laughs> it was really the ass beating that affected me as much as what happened afterwards. Child services got involved and I was called into the office giving candy and tricks by them into sharing the full story of what happened. This moment looms in the back of my mind from time to time and caused me to be not as open with people. I'm now 30 and I never really talked about it with my father. We have a semi-close relationship and I know that I need to have this conversation with him for me to grow in our relationship, my relationships, career, etc. But right now when I make an effort to bring it up, I always end up subconsciously point, pushing it down as something that's not quite important since it happened over 20 years ago. Ralph Waldo Emerson says, do the thing and have the power, but it's a lot easier said than done. I don't know how to even start the conversations. Any tips you have will be greatly appreciated. So I've had a couple things, maybe not as traumatic as you. I mean, my dad used to whoop my butt. My mom, my parents did some things to me that I grew up resenting. And, you know, even now I'm 40, 42, and it hadn't been until very recently that I began to resolve and speak with my parents with these things. And one of the things I found myself doing that was very helpful is approaching my parents with curiosity. And I think this is going to be helpful for you too, because you don't want to go into it blaming, complaining, and dumping it all on them, right? That's not resourceful. They're not your therapist. They also have all their own hangups, their own, all their own guilt, their own shame, their own confusion. You first, before anything, before anything, you got to forgive. You got to forgive your father. You got to forgive him. And I think, I think an easy way to even move into that conversation of forgiveness is with curiosity, like I was talking about uh, earlier or just now. Sorry, I'm getting distracted with the chats. Um, go in with curiosity. And this was totally by accident that I figured out, I discovered how resourceful it is because I was curious and I was like, wow, not only was this, you know, quenching my curiosity, but it opened a, it opened a, a path for healing. And so you could just, this is the way I posed it in a way, and you could just, you know, I don't know your dad and I don't know, you know, your relationship with him, but you could just, first of all, you know, let him know, hey, dad, I love you. I love you. And I appreciate everything that you've done for me in your life and in, in your life and my life. And I really truly know that I'm blessed to have had a father like you. If you feel that way, I'm not saying make it up, but I'm sure your dad was a good dad, even though he whooped you because it's good. It's good. That's what the Bible says. You should whoop your kids. <laughs> Right. I know that sounds so weird today, but it's good. It's what happened afterwards that you said with the child services, because we live in a Marxist world that wants to destroy the father. But anyway, assure him of all that and say, hey, I'm I'm curious. I'm wondering, do you remember that time? Just ask him, do you remember that time? He might not even remember it. And if he don't remember it, I'll tell you what you could do afterwards. But if he remembers that time, then be more curious. Say, hey, Dad, remember that time? Yeah, okay, yeah, I remember that. I do recall that. And, so, and then you ask him, what do you remember about that? What do you remember happened there? Let him spill it all out, right? And if he asks you why you want to know, you could even just say something like, you know, something practical, like, you know, one day I'm going to have my own children and I want to make sure that, you know, I, 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 I'm, you're my father. And this is the truth for me. So I, 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 would, I have to know, the way I know how to be with my children is because of the way my father was with me. I, I don't know any other way. None of us know. You know, although the world will try to tell us different. And so the, for me, the curiosity was, well, you know, because I have my own children and I want to know your mindset and how you approach me because, you know, I'm going to have my own children and I want to know, I want to know how to deal with them, right? And I might not do what you do, right? I might not do exactly what my dad does, but I want to understand his mindset because I know he was a father and he was doing the best that he could. So, and again, your father, again, I don't know the whole situation, but I'm, I'm assuming he was doing the best that he could. He did, you know, he did what he knew how to do and that was it, right? I don't think any parent purposefully does a bad job. 
they just know what they know and they don't know what they don't know and they do the best that they can with what they got. So I'm sure with your dad, that was a situation. He, he may look back on it now and have new insights. He might look at it now and say, yeah, yeah, I remember that. And, you know, I realized later on that I was wrong about that. Or he may look back at it and say, hey, yeah, you know, I, I hope you learned your lesson. Or he may look back at it and whatever. But the whole point is for you is to you go and it's all about opening. It's about you opening yourself in order to open him and to open the space for God to heal. There's no projecting, there's no pouring, there's no pointing, there's no investigating, like, you know, trying to get to the bottom of it. There's curiosity. This is a, this is a, I think this is the best way to work with our parents in terms of things that, you know, maybe we're holding on to that they think nothing of, right? So, Forgiveness is number one. Curiosity is number two. And all those things will begin. On, the only way you ever get like a wound, a cut, and if you, if you put a Band-Aid on it and you leave it covered up, it starts to fester and stink. And it, I remember I cut my finger one time and it was, I was like, man, it stinks. It starts to smell like, like rotting flesh because I think it was. It was this finger right here. I think it still does stink. <laughs> I cut off a piece of my finger. But I remember when it was cl it was covered up for a long time, it was stinky. I had to cover it, but it was stinky. But then when I op I took the bandage off, I got some air on it. It was like, oh, okay, it's starting to he Now it's healing. It's really healing faster because the air is getting to it and, and stuff like that. It's the same thing with these wounds, these childhood wounds. You can't continue to keep it covered because it will not heal. It's just going to fester. So the only way it's going to heal is if you open it to, you open it to open it up between the two of you and with God to come in and apply His healing balm. So I think that kind of answers your question. You do have to do it, but it's how you do it. You're right. You have to do the thing to have the power, but it's how you do it. And people are very receptive when you are um, when you are open. You're receptive rather than attacking and i think it will all work out well for you in this in this case dude Done. did you know that there's a secret psychological and social war on masculinity in the west since at least the 1960s if you think i'm crazy you need to watch my new free masterclass. you'll learn the history and origin of this war as well as how it's affecting your health your finances, and how females respond to you. If you're a man who's open to a compelling vision of traditional masculinity, financial freedom, success with women, and generous leadership, then you'll definitely want to study this class. It's called Make Men Strong Again, how millions of men are fighting back and winning the war against masculinity. Just click the link in this video or visit makemenstrongagain.com and get this brand new masterclass. It's completely free. It will blow your mind and has a ton of value and it's about 40 minutes long. So make sure that you pay attention and take notes. Why am I sharing this? I'm a mentor to millions of men worldwide on YouTube. So I'm familiar with the biggest reasons why men today are failing in so many areas of their life. And the answer will rock your world, but it's not totally your fault. Find out what's really going on. Click the link in this video to watch this class and start taking action today.